construction. Slides. I have that's just some. As I have said in the past, and you probably bored me saying that I used to be a photographer and I used to take lots of photos of lots of different things, models, dancers, buildings, everything. And um, I used to shoot back in the day, in, in the before times, on film and on slides. And then the digital age kicked in and pretty much ruined most of my career. It, it kind of faltered it. It became a lot easier for people to take photos and so forth. But for the last oh, 15 years, I've had this lot and more stuffed in the bottom of my wardrobe doing the one day, one day I'll digitize it. That day has come. Isn't that truly the most disgusting colour you've ever seen? I hate green. And But yes, I have a film scanner. And I've already done a review of this on the blog because I've had it about a week and I've done a, some scans. I would probably say about 1% so far. And um, this could take a while. So this is a, an intro to say I've got this and I've got to get through all of this lot and more. So let's see how we go. This will take a while. Eventually show you some of the results and some of the old files. It's kind of like the old going through old artwork thing, but this is going through old photos and showing you some of the hidden gems and past disasters. <laughs> going to be somewhat of a review. This is how hard it is to do this. Slide mount here, transparency film. That slide is in there and I've got to get it through, but I've got to get through the gap to put it, push in. And because it's curved, because the film curved, it won't go through. But I cannot get that to go in there. It's getting stuck. Just got to get that out like that, and then put that back into here in order to get that to go through. And I actually did it. That's the first time for ages I've done it properly. Then I can pull this through. Then you press. Then you have this screen. You press that. Sharpness. I found you have to be a one up on the sharpness. You press that. You press that. Then you press cancel to save it. And it then tells you to press cancel again. You don't. You don't press cancel because if you press cancel, then you have to go through the whole routine again. And being said, you then slide it one more and scan the picture. Move on to the next one. slide this is my teaching a dance company to dance on rope dance vertically they were called Krayos Moor Moreg Whiteman dance company basically there you know Moreg Whiteman or you are Moreg Whiteman hello that was in Glasgow for the Glasgow Christmas Festival we did it three years in a row and it was that thing was supposed to be a christmas tree it looked more like the front of a ship or a scaffolding for a new building in buchanan street and i taught people to dance on it now we play the fun to try and get the slides through again this is five minutes of me trying to do two pictures this is going to take me a long time There's 
that's the problem. You used to have to negative files and slides. You had no idea if you were getting exactly right, so you had to bracket. So you had to shoot three or four pictures that were like a third of a stop difference. And I held out for as long as I could to not buy a digital camera, because I thought it was the end of photography. And I was like, no, no, no. I lasted two years shooting film when everyone else had switched and was switching over. Until I bought my first Nikon D1 and it was seven megabyte. And the last one was like 24 megabytes. easier it is to take photos take a photo look at it go oh that's underexposed delete it do it again Whereas this was took the photo you had to know exactly where it was and calculate it school's project thing with this guy and I set the lights up and I calculated all the lights on the spot I went round and went got that f4 that f6 and f5.6.3 calculating that did it and exposed it right and the guy who I was doing it with who's apparently an experienced photographer he could not work out how I did it I literally just added it up in my head and divided by three and then worked out the distances and I take a sphere and basically and did it this is how your brain used to work and this guy was shooting on a digital camera and he took the photo and I went that's right how did you work that out I almost died that weekend doing that photo. He drove so fast and so crazy. We almost died about six times. I finally got back to Deptford and he drove into the side of another car and I got whiplash and went through the side, through the side door. Fun times. Anyway. <laughs> Here, there, press up there, I can only drive, open, select all, drag them off of there, format, yes, and we carry on with the next lock. My superhero, cacophony. That photo of Morik is cacophony. It was taken in 1999, and as you can see, there's this picture with this girl with this shape on her face. And then last year I drew my character Eloise and I drew that. Some things never change. How strange. The change from major to minor. I don't really know if I need to scan all these because I've got the picture that I wanted out of this. These are just called What's the Body. Okay. We're here. It is now May. Started scanning things in November. You will notice this is no longer green because it's no longer the same machine. The green machine packed up. Uh, it scanned 200 slides and then just stopped working. So I sent it back from the money bank. I got a second with another one off of Amazon and it scanned the slides but when it came to scanning the uh, negatives and the unmounted slides, just in strip form, it was useless. Case in point. This is the point where, to which I went, yep, yeah, no, that doesn't work. And I gave up. So then bought this one. So we're up to negatives. And we're up to the Arts Educational School Choreographic Workshops, 1995. Are you there? That, in the middle, the girl in the middle is Tina Barrett. This Tina Barrett. Those things I always remember. We're up to Nick's. Very, very dark negatives. Shots on T-Max 400 pushed three stops, generally. Ah. Interesting, this is black and white. I've got this in colour and slide as well. 
I know I have. It's amazing I can still remember all of these photos. You take a photo and it's just in my mind for for life. Tamlin Carrots and Abby, Abby C. Oh, that was bad. I'm not going to scan it, but that was bad. Non più dry farfalon amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano. What's that? There's like nothing on there. I've only got 20,000 sheets of negatives to go through, so... Le belle turbando al riposo Ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor Delle belle turbando al riposo Ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor Non più vrai questi bei panachini Quel cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color. Non più vrai, quei panachini, quel cappello, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. These, my very first black and white dance photos I ever took. On Friday afternoon, my friend Karen, dance teacher at the Arts Ed School over in Chiswick, I had this idea to go and take photos of dancers. I went and and literally this just roll of film changed my life. So, I'm not throwing it away. I took two rolls of film that day. The last few pictures are all blurry because my hands were shaking so much. I was pure adrenaline and so excited, so blown away. I was just like, I could do it every week. I could do this all the time. The Grand Jeté in a performance once and I can do it all through posh. Grand Jeté. Non più dry farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato. Aunt said on Friday afternoon in May in 1984. Almost 30 years ago, there was a Russian guy called Marat Martin. He had gone to Tenerife on, to get out of Russia and was dancing in a club. And my friends found him and said he was so good. And then when they came back to school, they, they convinced the school to let him come and study at Arts Ed in London to learn to be a ballet dancer. And he'd been a break dancer, but he just had like a natural ability. He had no money and they, what, they let him audition and they were like, Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. You can you can do that still. I became good friends with him, but he was a pain. I don't know whatever happened, but Marat Karolin Devoyevich. Don't know whatever happened to him. Just disappeared. English Japanese dancers. At one point, I went to school after one of their performances, and the wall outside Art said was completely covered in my photographs. It's one of the best bits of one of the best things of my career. Literally, a 30 meter wall filled end to end in my photographs. Westway Pine Wall when it was outdoors and so ridiculously steep.
in Japan. Super duper famous. Just done that lot. Oh. I started doing this in December 20, 2023, I think. So far back. No, 22. And it's taken me near on two years to scan in a few at a time. And now we're here. This is going back because number five has just broken. They just don't last. So film scanners do not last for any period of time. They last for about a thousand scans and then they die. This is now going back to the post office. I'm going to have to order another one to finish off the last 5,000 eggs. Only 5,000 actual pictures. Let's probably divide that by 30. So don't know what And yeah, we might actually get around to finishing it. This is as far as I've got so far and this is pretty much the end of it for now. You don't need to see anymore. Scanning negatives and slides onto digital. Honestly, it's a pain in the... And it's not been fun. So it's just so tedious. So boring. Put, uh, put music on, put TV on, do something while we're doing it. But it's very, very like... <clears throat> so there we go. That is 20 years worth of negatives from 20 years ago up to 20 years ago 50,000 negatives minus the 5,000 that are left which will probably get done at some point I hope you like this little run through history of my photos they've all been destroyed now they're all gone all gone to trash and bins and and um yeah that's it end of end of an era okay going to the post office Um, oh, hello. How long have you been out there? <laughs> There's a dog on the balcony. How long have you been out there? Did you... <laughs> Did you get lost out there? You've been sat out there all the time because you, you don't make any noise. Make box for the please. Box for the postman earlier, but didn't... Hi, come here. Come here. No. Oh. You can help. Okay. Right. Solo's going to scan. She went out on the balcony about 20 minutes ago and didn't come back in. I don't know what she's been doing. I think the door shut on her. Would she rather than tap the door or something? She's sat out there quietly waiting for me to open the door.